let's talk about what knowledge and tools you'll need to get started. Actually, most of these tools here you won't even need. This course is geared toward beginners, but there are some prerequisites. After I talk about what you should know, I'll show the software you should have to get the most out of this course. As long as you've passed high school math, you should be good on math knowledge. There are some mathematical assumptions that are simply out of depth for this course, but the goal of this course is to teach deep learning only assuming you understand basic algebra. Python is the programming language used in this course. It's an amazingly intuitive language, and it is commonly used in deep learning. Almost all of the top deep learning libraries and frameworks have support for Python. As far as how much coding experience you should have, I would just recommend scanning through the Python Code Academy course. If you can read through the table of contents and feel comfortable with the terms mentioned, then you're all set. If not, then just take the course and come back here when you're done. That course is designed to be a beginner course and it's very well crafted. Check the transcript of this course for links to any resources I mention. You'll need to install some free software to follow along with this course. Specifically, you'll need to install Jupyter Notebook and the NumPy Python library. I'll be doing most of the coding in this course using Jupyter Notebook. I think a pretty important part of learning deep learning is the ability to stop a network while it's training and tear apart absolutely every piece to see what it looks like. This is something that Jupyter Notebook is incredibly useful for. As for NumPy, perhaps the most compelling case for why this course leaves nothing out is that we'll only be using a single matrix library. In this way, you will understand how everything works, not just how to call a framework. This course teaches deep learning from absolute scratch. Installation instructions for these two tools can be found at jupyter.org for Jupyter and numpy.org for NumPy. Also, for easy installation of everything you need, check out Anaconda Navigator. I will be building these examples in Python 2.7, but for the most part, they should work in Python 3 with just some minor changes. While this course is designed to stand on its own, it could also be helpful to have a copy of Grokking Deep Learning, the book this course is based on. Something else that I think is very important for your success is that you find a personal problem you are interested in. Most people that become successful at this stuff had some sort of problem they were trying to solve. Learning deep learning was just a dependency to solving some other interesting task. This field is so new and is changing so fast that if you spend the next couple years chasing one project with these tools, you'll find yourself being one of the leading experts in that particular problem faster than you might think. For deep learning, having a problem you're fascinated with that involves using one data set to predict another is the key catalyst. Go find one. So if you've got your Jupyter Notebook in hand and feel comfortable with the basics of Python, you're ready for the next unit. But before we move on, let's do some practice in Jupyter Notebook. Okay, now I have Jupyter Notebook open. And in this first row, I'm just going to create a variable. Place equals world. And then I'm going to run that line. And then I'm just going to do a print. Print hello place. And then we'll run that line. And then we'll see hello world. And you can always go back and make changes. Like I can put a space here. And then I'm just going to press shift return again. And then you can see it reruns and puts the space there. Well, obviously, it will get a little more complex as we go in the course, but it looks like my Jupyter Notebook is working fine. So if you're able to run this simple program in Jupyter Notebook, 
you should be ready to start with the neural network in Unit 3. As a heads up, Unit 2 is the last chapter that will be mostly dialogue based without actually building something. It's just designed to give you an awareness of the high level vocabulary, concepts, and fields in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and most importantly, deep learning.